Welcome back to the King's Queen, where I teach you how to master your hustle. First things first, I apologize for all the sound problems I have been having on my last few videos. It was an internal microphone problem, but I have a new one. So hopefully you all can hear me clearly. You all can understand each and every word I say. And I do apologize again for the poor audio quality on a few of the previous videos. But now that we've got that said... Let's get into the topic at hand. This trending text effect that everyone is posting in groups and on Etsy and I'm pretty sure other places. It's a Canva template, but the template cannot be edited. So everybody in the groups is asking, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? Well, I've figured out how to do it. You want to learn? Stay tuned. All right, you guys, you simply go up here in this main search box for Canva and we're going to type in t-shirt and that is going to take us to all of their t-shirt templates. And we're simply going to scroll down until we see the one in question. There it is. We want this one right here. So I'm going to simply click on customize this template. But I really am not sure of what they mean customize because you can't do anything to this it the words can't be separated you can't type in new words or anything like that but like i said i figured out how to recreate this so it's not hard at all just stick with me um if you're on your phone go to your computer and follow along with me please feel free but um i'm gonna leave this up as a it's like a guard for the first part and then I'm gonna delete it and just freestyle this but um I want you all to go to apps it's right over here on the left I'm gonna go to apps and this is the exact app we are looking for here it is called typecraft t-y-p-e-c-r-a-f-t typecraft if you don't see it when you first go to your apps just simply Type it in, T-Y-P-E-C-R-A-F-T. And there it is. So we're gonna click on that. Give it a minute to load up. And for this specific app, I wish we were able to use it on our main um, Canva canvas so that we could use our rulers to make sure things line up but for the time being we have to work over here inside this area over here to the left and i'm patiently patiently waiting for it to load up but you know how that is so um right now we have to do everything over here on the left and like i said i wish we could do it over here because it would be much simpler to work on the main canvas okay now up here in the first text box is wanting you to type in your text so they have positive i am going to we're going to do something for breast cancer awareness. So I'm going to put survivor. I want all caps. I don't like the text that they gave me here. So I'm going to simply click here. The one that is on the positive I love, but they don't have Anton and this one looks just like Anton to me, but I found something that's kind of close and it's called Tico, T-E-K-O, 
Tico bold. One, two, three. Tico bold. One, two, three. And we're going to leave the style at normal, but you can do outline and what is this? I don't know what it's called. It looks hollow. Um, unfilled. Yeah, same thing as hollow. But there we have survivor. And I'm going to change the color. I want it to be pink since we're focusing on breast cancer awareness. Now from there, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to zoom in so that you all can see what I'm doing. There are little bitty circles surrounding the word that we're working with. This is what we're going to be pushing, pulling, dragging left and right, up and down. You can do anything with these dots. But we are going to stretch the bottom right corner down. Then we're going to go to the middle. And then we're going to go to the one that's on the left. Now we do not have rulers. So you have to do this with your own eye. And if it looks to be even, you're in business. You can stretch this down as far as you want to. I'm going to pull it down a little bit more. And now after you do that, then you're going to do the next step. We're going to take that same right corner and we're going to go over to the left to make it slant. But make sure you keep it straight. And we're going to do the same thing with the left corner. Pull it over at a slant. Don't pull it down pull it over to the right a little bit and that looks to be even and now after that i'm going to scroll down to this purple bar that says add element to design i'm going to click on it and there we have it our first part of this design now what i like to do is line this up so that they are the same height so that when i create mine it looks reminiscent to what the template looks like i'm going to stretch this one so that they are the same length it's not going to be the same height because I dragged mine a little bit further, but that's okay. But if you want to change it, you can change it. All you do is go over here. You have to have your, your word highlighted. Go back over here. If you want it to be slanted a little bit more so it looks like it's tilted more just pull it over some more and pull that one over some more and then we click update and see how that snapped if you want to whatever words you want to work on you have to have it highlighted so we have our first survivor i'm going to delete this template so we all can see Survivor a little bit more. Make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to go down to the middle of the page. Okay, my next step, I'm going to click on it again, and I'm going to duplicate it three times. I, I use my hotkeys, my um, keyboard, and I just click control and D and that helps me duplicate everything and I just want four of them four of them should be enough and I want them to be well it really doesn't matter how how we space them now but the 
the three up here i want them to be a little bit larger than the bottom one so i'm going to group them together and pull these out a little bit more so that they are a little bit larger than the one in the middle i want them all centered But like I said, it doesn't matter how they're spaced apart because we have something else to do first. So it's kind of redundant for me to be evenly spacing them. So I'm going to move on to our next step. We're going to go to elements and we're going to go in the search and type in black blur, black blur. And I'm going to go to the graphics section and see all. And I'm also going to delete this black background so that we can see what we're doing. Now I'm going to go and find a blur that's going to be straight across and allow me to give my word survivor a gradient effect. So I'm going to stretch it out. And right now it's upside down. And I want the darker part to be at the bottom of the word survivor. So I simply go up here to flip and I'm going to flip it vertically. And then you just line up the bottom of the blur with the bottom of the word survivor. And you can stretch this until it's covering how much of the word survivor you want it to cover or whatever your word is. I want it to... Um, be over pretty much the bottom, most of the bottom of the word. That looks good. And now I'm going to duplicate these blurs. We have four word supervisor. I mean, supervisor, what is going on? Survivor, we have four words that say survivor. So I'm gonna need four blurs. So I'm gonna duplicate this three more times so that there will be a blur to cover each word. Okay, next we're gonna pull up this word survivor, but as you can see, this is behind the blur, so I want it to be on top of the blur. So I, like I said, I use my keyboard to do all of this. I don't really work with um, the layers tab. So I'm not too, I'm not going to show you all how to use it because I don't use it. I use my keys. What I do, I'm on a PC. I use the control and the right parentheses. And I click on the word survivor. And I'm going to click the control button and that right parentheses until it is on top of the blur. Now I'm going to drag this word survivor up until it's touching the top of the word, I mean, the top of the blur, excuse me. And now we're going to follow those steps until we're finished. We're going to drag the blur until it's on the bottom of the word survivor. Let them line up. And then we're going to take the next word survivor and we're going to pull it up. I'm going to make sure it's on the top. Control and the right parentheses. See how this blur is behind the word survivor? We don't want that. So we're going to push that control and the right parentheses. It's not hard at all, guys. It's just tedious. That's all. Okay, and now we have one more. I'll put it on top. Now that is step one. And like I said, you can adjust these the way you want to. If you want this top survivor to be a little bit bigger, just drag it. But make sure you center everything so that everything lines up the way you want it to. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to center it. Okay, I'm going to center this one and center that one. Okay, now that we have that done, 
next step we are going to go here to share and this step you have to be with Canva Pro I'm sorry I didn't mention that in the beginning this is for Canva Pro because we are going to save this as a transparent PNG and you can only do that if you have Canva Pro and I'm going to download transparent image and I'm going to click on download doesn't take long at all okay and now I'm going to open a new page and I am going to retrieve what we just downloaded right here and drag this down a little bit so it's a little bit bigger so that we can see what we're working with I'm going to center it. Next, click on it and Control and D so we can duplicate. And now I want you to go up here to flip. And we're going to flip it vertically. Then we're going to drag it down until the, the middle. The, they're touching. And people, that's it. That's simply all there is to do you can change your background back to to black now I'm going to group these together so that I can move them easier without getting them out of place and I'm going to turn my background back black and voila and now I'm going to go down to find a image to use on top of it. I mean, you could get um, an element out of out of the elements and place on top of it, or you can leave it like this. But they look so much cuter to me when you put elements and graphics on top of them. It just makes them pop. I have this one here, and if you're in the group that I'm in that I have mentioned on another video crafty black girls you all have this particular image I gave it away for free so if you haven't picked that up feel free to go get it it's right there in the group and it's an amazing group of ladies you guys that they're amazing people but um as soon as she pops up I'm gonna remove the background okay I'm going to go up here to edit and simply remove the background. There are so many possibilities with this way of creating text. You can use all kinds of words and all kinds of graphics to come up with countless things. I'm going to center that. And that is too cute, Survivor. And I'm gonna show you another trick so that, but look at that, look at that. That's cute, I love it. But I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna show you a trick so that you won't have this. You may wanna use this over and over again, but you don't wanna keep using a, a black background i'm going to show you how we get a seamless looking png so i'm going to go back to the black background and i'm going to download not as a transparent png we're just going to leave the black background so we're just going to go to download And after that, I'm going to create a new one. Take that black background off. And we're going to go to let's upload what we just downloaded. Okay, we'll click on that. 
and we're going to go up to edit edit and we're going to remove the background and this simply takes off all the excess blur and it gives you a seamless design and you can change your background now to any color you want to and you don't have to keep doing it over and over again look at that you got the you can see the the gradients of each word but you're not stuck with a black background now you can change this to any color you want and you still have this effect I think this is so cute and like I said it's so many different ways you can manipulate these words and just play around with typecraft typecraft is a very new app that has been added to canva and it's a game changer we've been waiting for stuff like this and like I said, I wish we were able to manipulate the words over here on the main canvas, but until we can, I have no problem doing it the way that we are with Typecraft. But, um, yep, that is how I figured out how to get the text effect that everybody is raving about. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't ramble too much. You know how I can get. But um, do me a favor. You watch the video. So give me a like. Down in the comments. Let me know what word you are going to use first. To create the next new design for your shop or your business. Let me know. Talk to me. I'll talk back. Until next time, everybody, be blessed.